Deliverpoint allows you to check permissions at site level, list level and also item level. To check the permissions at the site, click onto the icon in the top right hand corner and choose Discover Site Permissions. The Discover Site Permissions option is available to anybody that has full control or is a site owner or even a site collection administrator to the site. You will notice inside the Discover Permissions report that we have a list of every single user that has permissions to the site, what permission they have and also how they were permissioned. So we can sort by username, we can also sort by permission and we can also filter by the actual permission level. So notice here if we want to return everybody that has edit permissions to this given site we can uh, set the filter as so and return every single user that has edit permissions. Now some users you might may see duplicated uh, what we can do is see how they were granted permissions so notice we've got the username Brett here so if we uh, sort by username at the very top you can see that I've got edit permissions via the sales members SharePoint group and the reason why I'm inside that group is because I'm inside the domain group called DP sales and just beneath that I can also see that I've got edit permissions this time because I'm directly a member of the EMEA sales SharePoint group this Discover Permissions report can also be exported to an Excel spreadsheet so you can click on to export to spreadsheet or it can also be scheduled as well. So clicking onto the schedule button would allow you to specify a folder path where this report is going to be generated and that can be any document library that you may have permissions to. And we can also set the file name pattern which could include the name of the site, uh, your name and also some of these placeholders for things like the date and time. We can select when we want that report to be generated, so whether we want this to be daily, weekly or monthly. And once we click on to save, a timer job will automatically generate that report for you as a, an Excel document inside the document library that you specified. So as well as reporting on permissions at site level, we can also navigate to a document library. And with inside the document library, we can use the deliver point ribbon at the very top and selecting that deliver point ribbon allows me to either report on the permissions for the list using the list permissions ribbon or we can also report on an item and that includes any SharePoint list item, any folder or document and we'll be able to uh, simply select the item that we want to report on followed by discover permissions. Now one of the things that is difficult to see without deliver point is which of those folders have broken permission inheritance and which ones have unique permissions so you'll notice here that there is a column that you can add and that will be discussed in another video uh, where we can add that column and see where we have broken permission inheritance so invoices and quotations in this case are inheriting permissions from the library which in turn is inheriting permissions from the site so the permissions will be the same for those so one thing we might want to do is investigate what's actually different about the commission reports so we can select that folder and discover the permissions on that folder itself and once again we can filter or sort this report and we can also filter by how the person was permissioned so if we wanted to see who was permissioned using a particular group that's whether it's a SharePoint group or a domain group so here I will select a domain group click Save and that will show all of these users have been permissioned via the sales domain group in one way or another. If we just compare that with what we get out of the box with SharePoint, uh, so rather than pulling up this report on the site level, notice as we navigate to site settings and site permissions, that the site permissions report is very small in comparison and rather than listing every single user it shows any SharePoint group or any direct permissions that a user will have so anybody that has been assigned permissions via a domain group or are nested inside a SharePoint group you won't see as part of this report so you really have to do some navigating into each of these different SharePoint groups to see who is a member of them uh, to be able to work out what permissions they have and more importantly when we navigate into something like sales members if we see a domain group nested you can't tell at all who is inside that domain group so running the report from the site actions menu and choosing discover site permissions gives your users the 
absolute information that they need as to who's got permissions to their given site. Many thanks.